was sort of designed around the idea of creating a scene, a place where people could come and have a conversation. An environment that really was, as much as possible, purely about learning, um, meeting new people. Just having a group of people making art. No matter where you're from, no matter what art world, you could use that background to actually help and inform yourself and others. Students can come try out an idea without necessarily losing their shirt. It's almost like an after-school program for, for adults. It's plain. It's like a jam session almost, you know. It's, it's an experiment, I feel like. And it's a place to have my mind free. You get a bunch of people together that get, agree to get together regularly, think about something, make it, show it. And just making it as accessible as possible. Not trying to like smartify it, art speak it, just making it how accessible can you make the idea of making art. Try it, make it, share it. That's it. The last 24 hours before the show, of course, is when you really learn how to be an artist. For a lot of students coming out of art schools or arts programs, they'll make art for years. Maybe four years as an undergrad, a couple few years as grad students. They might not even ever have an experience like showing their art to public. You know, being part of CAD, it's kind of like you make art, show that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But when you see someone walk in off the street who you don't know, who has no idea what you're doing, and walk up to your piece of art and look at it and be like, you know, thumbs down or thumbs up, that's just such a great cyclical wrapping it all up experience. I would have never been able to imagine um, being at this point, um, being able to show my work on a pretty continual basis at a gallery in the Chicago Art District. have some really great artwork that works particularly well with each other because it was designed and created to a certain degree with each other. I can honestly say that by um, being a part of, of this school has definitely inspired me to continue my video work. It gave me hope for uh, getting out of college and doing something fun, you know? I think I kind of always had a thing that I was going to get out of college and not and end up working wherever. You know, with my other outlets, sports and soccer, those are great too. But art is different, I think, and just, you know, you, you can see something, you can see the, the creation of something, and then at the end of it, you have something that's tangible. And... It was like, okay, so she had this idea, you work for it, 
it was ambitious, it came together, people enjoyed it and were moved by it. Like you, you can do that. Like it's that that sort of process isn't reserved for, you know, the major artists of the world. Having the art speak for me is 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 huge. Um, coming from a person who could never articulate anything. As I've like grown, I've realized that I can do it. Who cares, you know, I can show what I want to show and if somebody doesn't like it, that's okay. Do it yourself means like, yo, we like this, so we're gonna do this and however we get it out, we'll get it out, but we are gonna get it out. I was like, yeah, I did something. <laughs> I made something. <laughs> out of anything I can do in the world, I made this. Thank <music> you.